Hello and welcome once again to my video tutorial YouTube can so I am Choma Onsu Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve a pencil skirt and I'm just going to be using a simple method today It's a very quick and a very easy tutorial So what you need to do is to have your measurement which is the desired length of skirt that you need and then you need your waist measurement and then your hip measurement that is the waist circumference and the hip circumference so those are the three um, basic measurements that you need for a pencil skirt and then so you just go ahead and cross check your length if you have enough length for whatever you uh, um, sketch you need and mine is 27 inches and then I need two inches extra for hemming which I have you know there and I have 29 inches you know in total so I am also going to be adding a band of two inches so I'm going to subtract two inches from this particular length which is going to take us back to 27 inches so I'm going to repeat what I said the length is actually 27 inches I added two inches for hemming allowance which gave me 29 inches I'm also going to take out two inches from that particular measurement because I'm adding a band and the band height is actually two inches so I'm going to take in out two inches from this measurement so I'm going to it's going to take us back to 27 inches so I've marked that and I'm just going to cut it out so I'm just marking 27 all through which is the the, this, the required length now that we have or that we need so I'm marking 27 all through and I'm just going to connect it and cut it out now um, um, I'm going to be folding this particular skirt this particular fabric into four because I want to cut both the front and the back at the same time the hip measurement that I'm using is 42 inches and then when you divide 42 inches into two you will have about you have 21 inches so i'm just going to check because now i folded it into two i'm just going to check if i have enough okay so i have enough and then we're going to check if you have enough allowance normally i add two inches for um on, on both sides for same allowance so which is going to give us four inches and then i'm just going to cross check if i have up to four inches extra and then we have enough allowance so you need like about four to five inches extra on each side that's the front and then the back side so next thing I'm going to fold it into two again so now I have four layers of fabric I'm cutting out both back and front at the same time to make it easier for us so now I have four layers of fabric so basically we're just going to divide our measurement into four meaning the hip measurement as a hip circumference will divide into four and also the waist circumference will divide into four so i folded it i'm going to actually be leaving two inches at the back for the zipper allowance so i'm not folding it equal you see the front is going to be more a little bit less than the back the back is more because i added two inches um extra so the fold that we have there is going to be the center front and the other side is going to be the center back where the zipper is so when you fold the side that is shorter is the front and then the other side that is longer um is going to be the back and then the shorter side should be on a fold because that's the front so our waist is 32 inches then we divide by four and we have eight inches so we're adding two inches allowance which is going to give us 10 inches and plus one inch allowance for our darts so i'm marking 11 inches then i'm going to come down by nine inches from the waist to hip it's usually about eight to nine inches so you can measure downwards about eight to nine inches and then you input your hip measurement okay so um i just marked the waist and then the hip so that particular line from the waist to hip is nine inches and then i'm going to input the hip measurement the hip like i said is 42 inches divided by four will give us 10 inches and i've added two inches seam allowance to the hip so that gave us 12 and a half inches 
So it, depending on how you want your skirt to be for the hem, you can just take out two or inches from the hip or one and a half inches for whatever the hip measurement is to give you, you know, the measurement for that particular side. Okay, so depending on how fitted you want your skirt to be. So I'm actually taking one and a half inches from whatever I got for the hip measurements. I got 12 and a half inches after adding the two inches allowance. So I'm just going to take out one and a half inches from what I got from the hip measurements and that is what I'm marking at the hem. Now I'm connecting the waist to the hip and I'm just going to go ahead to connect the hip to the hip to the hem. You can use a straight ruler if you don't have um, a curved ruler like mine for this particular side. So a straight ruler is fine. But I just love to use this ruler. It comes out nice for me. You know, so I, I prefer to use the curved ruler for mine. But if you don't have a, a curved ruler for this part, you can use a straight ruler to achieve this. And you can just use a curved, like any French curved ruler or any curved ruler for the waist to the hip part. Okay, so look is what it looks like. So for your darts, you can just divide your waist measurement by two, whatever you got at the waist. For the waist measurement, you can divide it by two, or you can use your bust separation measurement, you know, for your darts. You can use any. It's just going to be fine. So for me, I'm going to be using um, four inches for that, but I've marked four and a half inches so that after we finish, you know, we're going to have about, still going to have about four inches. So I'm coming down by about four and a half inches. I want my dart length to be four inches, but you know, after I've left half inch seam allowance for our sewing. So next I'm going to mark half inch both sides, left and the right, and I'm just going to connect it like so. Okay, so I've done a detailed video on how you can achieve this skirt pattern, so you can go check it out. So you can just notch that side for both the front and the back, so that you know where your dart is. It makes it easier when you give it a notch, it makes it easier because you would, it's easier to know where your dart is. So you can go ahead also to give a notch to the back for the zipper allowance so that you know where your zipper allowance is. Okay, so I just done that. So the next thing is to cut it out. You need a sharp scissors if you have a fabric that's as um, if you have a fabric that is not size as thick as mine, you need a sharp scissors for this. So I've cut it out, so this is what you have. You have the front and then you have the back. You see, I told you this is a very easy way to achieve your pencil skirts. You just get to do the front and the back at the same time and you're done. So the next thing to do is to actually go ahead and cut the band. Like I told you, the band height is uh, two inches. So I'm going to cut out about, I've already cut out about four inches because it's on the fold. So basically, you need about four and a half, five inches all through. So that by the time you fold it, uh, you are going to have about two inches after folding so you make sure you have that the that you have up to two okay so I have two and a half you see so this is fine so it's the waist measurement that you use to determine the length so the waist I told you is 32 inches you have to measure to check if you have up to 32 inches and then you need some allowances for your band so 
32 inches i'm going to add about four inches extra or you can add about three to four inches just all depends on you for the zipper and then the seam allowance you don't cut it exactly so basically i'm going to use um interfacing for the band and that's it i'm just going to iron on the interfacing and that is it so you can see now i'm on the sewing machine and i've gone ahead to achieve my darts and this is the back already so this is for the zipper as you can see already so at this stage you can go ahead to just you know stitch the back with a base stitch and then you can or you can just go ahead to attach your zipper at this stage and then you can see the front i've already achieved my darts as well at the front and then this is the band i used um paper stay for this particular band i'm just going to go ahead and iron it properly and basically what you just need to do is to stitch the all the sides together using your adequate measurement making sure that the measurement is correct and then you're going to go ahead to attach your band and everything and your skirt will be done one of my videos i showed you how to attach a band on this video on how to make a circle skirt so you can just go and check out that video and you will be able to um, see how i went ahead to attach my band so you can see right now i've already attached the zipper to it i've gone ahead also to i've gone ahead to insert a zipper with i use an invisible zip and i've also gone ahead to attach the band and i've also gone ahead to hem my skirt see how the back is looking i actually hemmed the skirt using um hemming gum i went ahead to hem it and i just used the needle and thread to tack tack it a little bit too you can see there's a slit for ease of movement um the only thing you need to do at the band also is to add um is to insert your skirt hook so i'm going to be using skirt hook for this particular band and you can see how it's looking it's very beautiful and comfortable so you can go ahead to make yours thank you for watching this particular video i hope you actually learned one or two things from this video and i will see you in my next video bye, -bye.